hello everyone welcome back so in this video in my previous videos i uh, i actually create a video regarding how we can connect kafka from visual studio code so i got so many comments and saying like you cannot do these things and then why you post this videos that kind of things but i initially given all the direction but in this video i fixed i am going to fix that so the first thing that you need is this extension tools for apache kafka and then you need to come to here kafka uh, where in the initial initially it will open a window like, like this test cluster uh, and you need to provide the name uh, whatever name you need to be so then uh, you need to provide the your kafka uh, server uh, port number so that's the only thing you need to um, set then if everything is okay then you can connect so i will repeat the steps how we can run the docker within a minute or something for kafka so if you run that you can connect using this one without any anything so what was that command let me pull up that one so this was the image that i used kafka zookeeper joni park and you just run this one and uh, if you are not running detach you can use the docker desktop also to run uh, after it stops so that's the only thing you need then you can come back to our extension and connect and save this and you can see how i already created topics here so if i use here and test new and they will ask how many partition you need so you put that one and you can see all the topics here so i will dump topics metadata so uh you have to does not support the requester api action so there is some issues here so but yeah but most of the things you can do but some of the things the kafka server does not support the requested api action error during command vs code the metadata okay so this actually not supporting on that particular image or something i am not the kafka server is not supporting uh, so uh, probably you need to check with some other images start consumer start consumer you can start consumer also so if i need to add some data to this one start consumer okay consumer is starter so if uh, something is posted on this one you can uh, yeah you can get that message here so if you go to that extension there are so many there are so many things they mention here that you can do so if you need to produce a message for a particular topic you can do using this one why my screen is not moving okay I guess that has some issues so uh create a dot kafka file so that's a defined a simple producing kafka file using the following and uh, and you need to run that then only you will get the so see producing message session producer kafka there is a little bit of documentation here that you can follow 
So after you create the message, key format, header, yeah, so many things you need to have. Then property names, test.kyakka randomize. Here is the example. Okay, so that's all um, for today. I actually need to fix that the issue previously uh, commented by so many viewers. So that's why I came with this video. It's actually, it's very easy. That's why I put uh, such a video. I mean, you just need to provide your address and you you can connect don't need to be a expert in any topic to do that so thank you for watching you can see the consumer group if you have anything uh configs yeah, kafka configuration i guess you can see here but uh, term broker metadata Post. Okay, some of the things that's easy to get. So, but yeah, producing message, you need some extra information that I didn't have. You will get that from this documentation and you can do so. Or otherwise you can do that from your terminal also. So, uh, Producing message to Kafka topic command line. So just a command line Kafka topic dot sh. You need to yeah you need to use the Kafka topic Kafka consumer consumer produce dot sh. So you should be in Docker container inside. Then do that things or otherwise you need to follow these things. These things are a little bit complicated, not complicated, it will take some time. So that's why I'm not going to discuss such things here. So producer, you need to create a just a producer here. Then produce a file here. Then some headers, my topics, key. And uh, after that, to produce a single record, produce recording about the producer lane to produce, then I guess you can run using that one. So producer.capca, let me check whether I can create a file here, new text file, file. Where or I will show or okay, I cannot run from here, I guess. The only way it's command line option. Probably there will be some options. Other than that, but yeah, I'm not sure about running the producer. So that probably maybe in next video or something, but if I am waiting for that, it will take some time to understand the things and other things. So the main purpose of this video is uh, to, uh, to show how we can connect from Shastoria code to the Kafka cluster. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.